I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question on rational functions. The question here is, which of the following options is correct for the rational function f of x, which has x axis as horizontal asymptote? We are given three options here. The first one is, the range of f of x cannot include 0. Second is, range of f of x will always include 0. And option C is range of f of x may include 0. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now let's try to understand the question first. We're trying to say that we are given a rational function where x axis is horizontal asymptote, right? So this is your horizontal asymptote. x axis is your horizontal asymptote. It really means that as x approaches a positive infinity or or it could be and also as x approaches negative infinity y approaches 0 right. So that means uh, that means that y equals to 0 is horizontal asymptote. Correct? So that is the basic definition. At times, we also treat this as end behavior of a function, right? End behavior of a function. Now the question is, now we are given that this x-axis, this x-axis is the horizontal asymptote for a function. In that case, the range of the function cannot include 0. Is this statement correct? Or range of function will always include 0? Or range of function may include 0, right? So that is what you are looking for. So let me give you a few examples to begin with. For example, if you take 1 over x, right? So the 1 over x function is kind of like this. Do you see this? Uh, so what I've given here is this function which is which is uh, y equals to 1 over x. Now for this function as you can see the function approaches horizontal asymptote y equals to 0 as x approaches positive or negative infinity right. So here in the range y equals to 0 is not included right. But the question is is it always the case? Right. I'd like you to consider uh, some functions which could be like. So we could actually give an example here. So if I give you a function y equals to, let us say, x over x squared minus 1. Now this function, if you try to sketch and see the result, x squared minus 1 means we have vertical asymptotes at plus minus 1. Right. So let me just sketch this function here. This is vertical asymptote at minus 1. This is vertical asymptote at plus 1, right? Now, so if you sketch this function, take some values and then sketch it, you'll find that if x is 0, if x is 0, then what happens? y equals to 0, right? So that means 0 is within the range. Do you see that? So in this particular function, what we notice is that the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. However, if x equals to 0, then y equals to 0. So that means that the range of the function may include 0, right? So this option seems to be correct. Do you see that? It's kind of obvious from the function itself. Since the denominator is of high degree, horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. And if I substitute x equals to 0, I do get 0 for y. That means the range will include 0. Now, if you sketch this function, what you will get is, is kind of like this. Kind of like this. Now, here you see that the horizontal asymptote is x equals to 0. However, the function crosses and the range is all real numbers. Do you see that? right? So that could be a counter example to the statement. And so, so we could say that, well, there are quite a few examples where range may include 
whatever the horizontal asymptote is, right? Similar to this, let me give you one more example, uh, which could be, I, I'll just make this plus. So, right, so y equals to x over x squared plus 1, right? Now, from the equation, it is clear that we do have a horizontal asymptote, which is y equals to 0. And if x equals to 0, x equals to 0, y equals to 0 over 1, which is 0. So in this case, also, the range includes 0, right? The origin, right? It crosses the x-axis. So the function, the graph of the function can actually cross the horizontal asymptote. The reason being is that a horizontal asymptote is defined in, at infinity. Do you see that? So the reason is, uh, let's say, so we are analyzing... So what we say is horizontal asymptote is defined as x approaches plus or minus infinity, right? So in between the graph of function can cross uh, this value is it okay and that's the reason that's the reason why you have uh, horizontal asymptote at, in your range also at times right so it, you may not get many examples there are quite a few such examples if you sketch this function uh, what you get is let me you can try to sketch this function it's a very important function to sketch so it will give you a graph which is kind of uh, it's a concave down here it crosses through this and it's kind of like this right so that's the kind of graph which you get for this function right my idea of sharing these examples with you is to open up your mind and think whenever we're talking about horizontal asymptotes then those points could be part of your range however if we are talking about vertical asymptotes then the domain will not include those points, correct? I hope I'm very clear about it, right? So as an exercise, you can actually sketch these two functions, follow all your graphing techniques which you've learned, all the steps. The answer is before you. And then you have two beautiful examples which will remind you that if horizontal asymptote is y equals to L, then L could be a part of your range. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand the concept. You can always share and subscribe my videos and feel free to ask questions. Thank you and all the best.